This is a beautiful piece of kingfish. Kingfish steak to be exact. This is one of my favorite fish. My sister, well, not so much, but me, I love it. Now I understand why my sister doesn't like it and why a lot of other people don't like it. If you go to, let's say, a Jamaican restaurant, sorry Jamaican restaurants, your family, but hey, gotta tell the truth. Sometimes they make it so dry, it's like cardboard. Oh, the flavor is slamming, but it's so hard and so dry. Oh, oh, I kind of stopped ordering it from the Jamaican restaurants and I make it myself because, well, you know me, I can cook a little bit. So if you want to make some good kingfish, work with me. Let me show you what I did this time and it came out lovely. Let's go. Hi, my name is T. I am not a chef. Actually, I'm a truck driver. And I don't drive food trucks, I drive a semi. What I'm about to do is show you how to do what I do on my truck. Welcome to your favorite new food show. Big taste in a small space with me, T. So let's start with a little bit of prep. We only got a little bit of prep because we didn't do a whole lot to this. So I got me an onion, about a half an onion. I'm not even going to use the whole thing, but I sure should have. I did about a quarter of an onion in my mandolin. Don't worry. Kept all my fingers this time. And there we are. I got a jalapeno, not a jalapeno, a habanero pepper. Cut that up in little strips. Yeah. Uh, and I also had some pineapple. Yeah, that's right, some pineapple. Cut that up a little bit in the smaller pieces. I only use three pieces. Next time, I'm going to use a lot more onion, a lot more pepper, a lot more pineapple. Anyway, got my little baking sheet out, lined it up and uh, start mixing up my peppers, onions, and pineapple. Put it on the sheet, mix it up a little bit more, place everything strategically. And then I got my piece of kingfish. Yep, took it out the pack, dry it off just a little bit, you know, you know. You don't want a juicy mess. Just pat it dry a little bit. And then we take it out the piece of paper, and we're going to season this up. Little salt, pink Himalaya this time. Little black pepper, the melody of peppers. Uh, little crushed red peppers. Mm-hmm. A little, a little ajwan. That has a taste of thyme. You just need a little bit. A little harissa. That's got kind of a citrusy taste, if I remember correctly. Little olive oil. Mm-hmm. Without Popeye. A little sweet soy. Yep, a little habanero triple X sauce, just a little bit. Give it a little punch. And we take that, put on your glove, and we season both sides. You know, just a little bit of all that. Like I said, that Ajwan seasoning is real strong, so just a little pinch. Put that on top of your onions and peppers and pineapple. And I stuck that in the oven for about... 40 minutes at 400 degrees. When it was about 10 minutes before it was done, I stuck it near the top so it get a little browning like that. Looks lovely, looks lovely. <laughs> yes, it does. And I put my peppers and onions on the side. That's it, you know. 40 minutes in the oven. We done. Of course, you know, like I said, get yourself a little salad. That's some of my leftover salad I spruced up from yesterday, but... Kingfish, onions, peppers, little pineapple. 40 minutes in the oven at 400 degrees, and it stayed nice and juicy. Mm-hmm. I think even my sister would like this, if I could ever get to eat, her to eat it again. <laughs> but, hey, try it out, people. <laughs> I'm going to do it again really soon. <laughs>